everybody. This week we're going to be talking about friends and what it means to be a good friend. If we were still at nursery, we would be celebrating Friendship Week. However, we are all learning from home, aren't we, this week? So I brought a story home with me, which is about two friends. So we're going to read that together. So have a listen and look and see if you can have a think about what it means to be a good friend. Two friends two friends. Nida lived next door to Jake. There was a gap in the fence between their gardens, just big enough for Nida to squeeze through when she came to play. Let's go exploring at the end of your garden, said Nida. It's a great big scary jungle down there. We can look for creepy crawlies and put them in a jar. And maybe there's a tiger hiding in the bushes. We can make a tent and stay there forever, said Jake, although he wasn't too sure he wanted to meet a tiger. They packed Jake's rucksack with all the things they would need. They found a sheet to use as a tent and some blankets and cushions to go inside. Nida fetched a fishing net from the toy box in case they needed to catch some wild animals. I'll carry the fishing net, said Jake. I had it first, said Nida. Jake found the toy buggy for his rabbit to ride in and they set off for the bottom of the garden. Then Nida said, it's Mouse's turn to ride in the buggy. Give it to me. She grabbed it and pulled. No, it's mine, said Jake, hanging on. The buggy toppled over and so did Nida and Jake. Jake ran off and hid in the bushes. He was cross and didn't want to share his things. He watched Nida trying to make the tent on her own. Then he heard a rustling noise in the leaves. It must be the tiger. Jake was very scared. He ran to Nida as fast as he could. I can hear the tiger. It's there in the bushes. Nida was scared too. As they stared at the place where the noise was coming from, out stepped Jake's old ginger cat. He came lazily over and rubbed against their legs, wanting to be stroked. At last, they managed to make their tent. It was cosy and snug inside. I'm cooking sausages for our tea over the campfire, said Jake. And I'm keeping the wild animals away, said Nida. This time we're looking out for crocodiles. So even though Nida and Jake fell out because they didn't like sharing their toys, they did make friends in the end. Sometimes sharing can be really hard, especially when you really, really want to play with something. But it's important to make sure that we share and that we're kind to each other and we're kind friends because it's much more fun when we all get to play together, isn't it? And not on your own. I hope you have a lovely week, everybody, and have a think about how you can be a good friend. And I'll see you when we're back at nursery. Bye!